G'day, my name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Cell Line. So in this video, I'm going to break down for you the difference between booth rental and commission, and what it takes, what it takes on a day-to-day -day schedule for someone to make money in this industry. Let's just jump right in. So the short answer to the difference between booth rental and commission is that booth rental basically sets their own schedule, does whatever they want, comes and goes as they please. They should have a key to the salon. There's certain things that a salon should follow a guideline that is a booth rental salon. So the goal is, if you're gonna rent a chair in a salon, I believe you should have 24 hours access to that salon you should have security cameras if needed. You should be able to lock things away at your station. You should be able to provide services that you wish to provide or in the hours that you wish to provide them in. You should be able to set your own schedule, set your own prices. Um, there's some salons out there that don't necessarily follow the general code or the general rule of actually having a booth rental salon. And it's terrible, it's terrible. They take advantage of hairdressers. They're not running their salon as a booth rental salon. It's basically, some salons run it as a commission salon, but say it's booth rental, but it's not. There's certain guidelines that you have to follow as a booth rental salon. They should have X amount of space available to them. You know, it, it's so frustrating in this industry that I see hairdressers get taken advantage of time and time again. Now look, I'm an owner. And it's in my best interest to be upfront and honest about everything that I do in the salon with my stylist, with my, with my clients. It's how you make money, not lying and cheating never wins. Most salons over the last 10 years or longer were commission based salons. This is basically you have employees, you set to set the hours that they work, you set the prices, you set their schedule. You basically pay them commission based on what they bring in in services. So most salons run or start around anywhere from 35 to 40% commission and can go up as high as 60% depending on where you work and what area of the country you're working. Uh, if, for example, if you're a commission based salon and you pay your stylus 50% of what they bring in, okay. So that stylist, everything they do behind the chair, they take home 50% off. Pretty straightforward. Now what you have to do as an owner, you have to provide the color, you have to provide the product, you have to provide the station, the electricity, the towels, that comes off your 50%. Do you see where I'm going with this? So even though you're getting 50% of what they make, you still have to provide a lot for them to run their business on that client as an owner, because you're taking 50% of what they're making. It's pretty straightforward. Now, if you have 10 stylists in the salon and everyone works fantastically, commission-based salons did work. There's no question about it. And to this day, they still do work. And there's a lot out there. What I did, I felt like the industry was changing. So that's why, eventually, I've turned my salon into a booth rental salon. So now I rent out chairs. I have eight chairs in the salon that I rent out. Most stylists will pay monthly. Other salons, you may pay weekly. I've even heard people paying daily, which is, at, which is crazy on the owner, but everyone has their niche. We pay month, my stylists pay monthly. It just works. Now I've had the same booth rental stylist for quite some time now, we've got a great team of girls. They all get along fantastically. Don't get me wrong, every salon has their issues and we've had our issues in the past, I guarantee you that. But at the moment, it works. Now, they can sell retail out of their station 100%, but they have to go and get it, they have to stock it, and they have to sell it. That's how a booth rental salon works. They're basically their own boss within your business. So then you become a landlord, more or less. Now, there's certain guidelines that we still follow as a booth rental salon. <clears throat> I use Paul Mitchell. Typically, a booth rental salon, they get to choose whatever color brand they like to use. 
Originally, I asked all my booth rentals to use Paul Mitchell, and they agreed to it 100%. So we stayed a focused salon. Even though we're a booth rental salon, we did stay as a focused salon for Paul Mitchell. Over time, the girls asked if they could incorporate different colors and things like that. I agreed 100%, so I swapped to a signature salon to not lose my booth rental stylist, to accommodate them in the best way I knew how, give them what they want. They want the flexibility, so we gave them the flexibility of using other color lines. So we just swapped back to a signature salon. We've had some problems and we've run into different things along the way, but as, we, as you run into these problems, you face a challenge head on and you work out a solution. It's the best way to do it. One of the biggest questions I do get asked is, how do I make more money? Do I make more money as a stylist, as a commission, or do I make more money as a booth rental? Follow me on Instagram. I propose the question, you know, why are you being a booth rental? Are you going booth rental just because you want the flexibility of coming and going as you please? Or are you actually going to booth rental because you want to eventually make more money? There is ways of doing it. If you want the flexibility of coming and going, booth rental is the way to go. It doesn't mean you're going to make more money as a booth rental. Because if you're not in the salon, you're not going to make money. It's just the way it works. As hairdressers, we're not working behind the chair. Or someone doesn't show up, you are not making money. That's just common sense, right? But, so, if you want the flexibility of come and going, please, and you want to work less, sure, that makes you happy. You know, you're going to work less, you're going to make less money, even though you get to keep it all. But don't forget, you got to pay your taxes, you got to buy your colour, you got to buy your products in your station. So, you may break even, you know, on what you're making as a commission stylist. You may actually make less by the time you pay your taxes and everything else, or you pay your rent for the month from behind the chair. You, you may make a little bit, but if you're not in the salon as much as you were as a commission-based stylist, you're not going to make money. It's, it's straightforward, that easy. So if you go booth rental and you decide you do want to make money in this industry, guess what? you got to work more. So pretty, pretty common, right? Pretty common sense. The more you work, the more you make. So now that you're willing to come in beyond the hours that you used to work, you will make more money. Pretty straightforward in my books. So listen, I'm gonna try and keep this video under a certain amount of time. I could talk about this all day long. I, I love it. I love the idea of helping people become better in the industry. You know, so if you have any questions about this, put them in the comment section down below. I'll answer every one of them, I promise. I get asked all the time what it takes, you know, and it takes a lot of work, and you gotta put in your time, but there's rewards at the end. It really is. So it doesn't, you got to work hard in any industry to make money. You have to put in the time, you have to work hard, and you'll make the money. So if this is the first time you've come across my channel, listen, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I know I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. But they say the first thousand is one of the hardest things to accomplish. You know, I know it's not a lot for many. People are up in the half a million to a million to 10 million subscribers. You know, I'm determined to get there and I'm not gonna give up until I do. So please, hit that subscribe button for me. Check out some of my other videos. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. But just thank you. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. And if I can help you in any way possible, I don't claim that I know everything in the industry. Well, you never know everything. It's just the way it is. But I have been in this industry for a long time and I've cut hair all over the world. So I've got a lot of experience behind me on a lot of different things. Hit me up with a question. I'll be more than happy to give you my response. <laughs>